<laughs> but my cameraman says that Lalana is best being deployed as a base. Bro, what? <laughs> Snapshot Studio, Aston Villa 1, Liverpool 2, last minute drama. This is like Bollywood for you now. Oh yeah. You should be accustomed to it by now. Yeah, this yeah. is really Shah Rukh Khan over and over again. When it was 1-0 and you, you, you were looking at Liverpool, I spoke to you, you guys were really glum, yeah. down and sombre. Was it in you that you believed that Liverpool would really come up with the good today? Actually, I was trying to believe that we would have a last minute goal, lah, but... Deep down, I was scared that this would be the first loss of the season. <laughs> I was really getting scared. Like, like, I was sweating already. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, uh, the thing is, right now, I think with three previous matches, we have seen that Liverpool, Achilles Hill is really... If I, if, I, if I can actually observe, you know, again from uh, a third-party view, is when a team counters Liverpool, yeah. they are usually on the back foot. United has proven so, even Spurs, you know, in patches, and today against Aston Villa. Mm. Do you think right now, going forward, teams will actually deploy such tactics again Liverpool and Liverpool usually have to really scurry up for a result and they usually have to really dig deep to actually get a victory yeah I think definitely now that I think obviously teams are going to look at this match because Liverpool is a big club and it's at the top of the table now so they're definitely going to pick up the tactic from this match they confirm when they play against Liverpool again they're going to use it but I think we're also not dumb lah we also come out with a backup plan in case lah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. And today we all know uh, the most notable absence was uh, absentee rather was Fabinho, yeah. and then Lana was being deployed as a six. Do you agree with that kind of formation, or do you prefer? Because I thought Hendo would be better off playing in that screening position rather than Lana. Because I just think Lana would be better in terms of you know yeah. the attacking foray. What do you think? Yeah. Lana wasn't good in that position. He couldn't do shit. <laughs> But my cameraman says that Lalana is best being deployed as a base. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> what lah? <laughs> but you see today, uh, again, like I mentioned, one of the... Uh, I think that what was really compelling was the three guys up front. Last season, you guys was... W the three of them were blistering. Oh, yeah. In terms of goals, in terms of their connection. Mm. What is really missing, bro? Because we see that there is always like intermission between them three. Something yeah. is not clicking. What What do you make of these three right now? Uh, Firmino, uh, Mane, and Salah. Them not clicking together right now. I think Mane and uh, Mane and Firmino. Are okay, I think Salah is like the weak link. That's that's like he's undoing the chemistry that held them together. Mm -hmm. So would you then drop Salah going into next match against City? Um. Uh, no, I don't think I would drop Salah going to the next <laughs> match. La. If you see me the previous time, I gave him a 1. I don't, I don't think this time it was that bad. <laughs> and, yeah, and you see today, uh, obviously, uh, the, in terms of what Klopp did with, uh, the, by dropping Fabinho, yeah. it kind of paid off. That was really dire last-minute stuff. Mm. Going into next week match against City. Yeah. City again had their own Bollywood over at Etihad. Yeah, yeah. Last-minute drama as well. Going to next game. What would you pick in terms of formation or personnel going against Man City? Would there be any kind of knee-jerking experience for City in terms of how you would surprise them with a different tactical approach or it would still be the same old 4, 3, 3, all same personnel? Would you do anything different next week? No, I wouldn't do anything different because Man City is the same stupid club. I don't think we need any changes to win them. 4, 3, 3 is fine. <laughs> and okay, and since you are that confident going to next week, what will be your score prediction against Man City? The, the current champion. 3-1. 3-1. Yes. Okay, that's it. <laughs>